there you go guys and welcome to one of my world zombie nation videos here a game that i've been playing for quite a while uh, quite a while that i am super happy about we're doing a guild raid here i'm currently in the lead and i'm just going to check for my uh, units to barrel here all right all looks good so what kind of a game is world zombie nation if you haven't played it uh, it's basically um the world is pretty much doomed, you have the survivors on one side you can play, the humans, and you have the zombies on the other side that you can play, and that is what I am doing. When you play the zombies, you need to uh, pretty much take out the humans, uh, which is the fun part if you ask me. Uh, if you play the humans, you need to kind of beat them back. So, you have these different units that you... You have your base units, which are these small drones, as they're called, and then you have the um, the options down here at the bottom of the screen. Let me just turn a little bit of this volume down. So the bottom things are your mutations. They are basically uh, super-powered zombies that can do different things depending on which mutation you choose. Um, and you need to like uh, make some kind of strategy where you... Um, complete the different maps with the limitations they have, the obstacles they have, in order to, as a zombie, you need to take out all the humans and their buildings, and then you get some kind of trophies, depending on how many of your units survived, how many of the opponents you took out, how many of the structures you took out, and the amount of time you have left. So that's like the basic game, you pop in your zombies, you need to clear out anything that is there as smart as possible. You get your, your trophies that result in some rewards. The top and bottom one here is DNA, that you need to evolve your units and make them stronger. The one in the middle is a mutation for the like lowest rank of tank you can get, that's not that interesting for me. The reason why I am playing in this raid that I started is because when you evolve your units, and that's where they get a great deal stronger, you need this DNA, you have these uh, e evolution chambers that you can evolve your units in, and they get new powers. One of the epics that I have is this killer town. Now I have one that's level 39, and in order for me to reach level 40 with it, I need uh, 100,000 of these DNA points, so that's a huge amount of DNA points. You get some from these uh, special things that you unlock uh, when you play the game. You can add in zombies to like get more freebies, but you get the, the most when you actually play PvP or when you complete raids. So what I'm doing right now is just grinding raids over and over to get some gold coins so I can buy new packs of cards and to get this DNA that I really need to evolve my mutations and uh, get on even more interesting missions. So here we have another map. The open hand things here are places where you can spawn your drones. The humans will try to take them out. The reason why I am uh, grinding this particular raid is because I uh, the unit that you can see I'm, I'm using here, it's a titan. It's pretty much an armored unit, meaning that whatever damage is given to it is uh, the armor amount is subtracted from it. So it's it's unbeatable in this particular map. The one here is a harbinger. It runs in and explodes. So it's like a kamikaze unit. But by using just uh, the one Titan unit, I can clear out this map. Uh, meaning that I can grind it super, super, super easy. Um, get a lot of this DNA with very little effort. Um, the problem in this game for you as a player, besides getting the resources you want, is that whenever you use a unit, it, um, it gets fatigue. So a unit has three bars. You can see this one has something red below it. It means that it has one use left. It starts with three. So you can use it in three different maps. Then it's all fatigued. And um, it takes 45 minutes for it to regain each of its attack points. So it's super easy to complete most of these games. 
if you just go all in with your units but if you uh, if you want to be able to grind for a long time you need to think about using just one or two uh, to really be able to keep going uh, then the first ones will have recharged when you reach like the end of your army then you can keep going but anyway completed another run here the first reward DNA the second an uncommon tank and the last one DNA as well so super cool but it's just really the DNA that I need uh, as you can see I'm up here in the lead I'm going to get two rare packs once we complete this raid and 50 gold coins and I need uh, 2500 gold coins in order to buy a special pack that will give me a legendary and five epics at least four epics and one legendary as a guarantee so uh, that's really what I'm aiming at 2500 gold and a huge amount of DNA I'm in a guild and because I'm in a guild I can borrow units from the other players of the guild and that's another strategy that you can use to really keep going because you don't spend uh, you don't get fatigued when you use um, when you borrow units so the the rightmost unit I have here that I'm using the big one is the behemoth it's like a super tank with a huge amount of health it's not mine but it's just going crazy pants in here it's almost unkillable at this level in this map uh, so it's a super 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 great unit for me to borrow and it means that I can go for another another game without having consumed any of the fatigueness or whatever you should call it of my own units so being in a guild where you can borrow strong units from other players is really going to boost you uh, that's for sure it's very much uh, super important so uh, this is pretty much what I do in this game right now I just uh, grind these different maps with as little uh, fatigue stuff spent as possible from my own units um, another thing worth noting is that the main currency of this game uh, you have three things you're going to be seeing them at the top of uh, the screen here you have the brains they're like the base economy thing that you use for a lot of things then you have the DNA that you use to evolve your units and you have the coins that are yeah, like diamonds or whatever you would call them in other games. It's what you use to, to speed up things or, or like buy card packs. Um, the brains you use each time you fight. So as you can see at the big green button here, I use 960 brains each time I fight here and I don't get any. So if you just do these PvP and raid games, you're going to run out of brains. So you need to do some... PvE games, player versus environment games, in order to earn brains. When I play one game uh, at my level, I get about 2,000 brains, uh, like uh, more than what I spent. So each game I play like this, but when it isn't in a raid, I earn 2,000 brains, and when I play here, I spend 1,000 brains. So you need to. Uh, play here in order to get your DNA, uh, your rewards, free card packs, extra gold coins, stuff like that, and then you play the other stuff in order to be able to afford doing this. So it's, um, it's something you need to balance out uh, in order to get things working out as efficiently as possible for you. Um, it can take a time to like learn how to invest your time uh, best it also depends on what kind of a guild you're in how active raiding they are this guild that I'm in are horrible raiders meaning that there are some pretty cool people here very um, nice guild to be in but raid wise people are not that active um, so that's a good and a bad thing it's a bad thing because I need to do pretty much most of the rating on my own but on the other hand I also get all of the amazing rewards so it's uh yeah you win some you lose some kind of thing so let's check out what we get rewards wise this time the middle one is an uncommon again uh, 
the rare ones are blue, the epics are purple, and then you have the, the legendary ones that have like huge flare fire thing going on behind them. So it can be a little hard to see the difference between the rares, uh, the, uh, the, the legendaries and the uncommons, but uh, I've learned it now. So I have the same strong behemoth unit to aid me again, which is super cool because it means a freebie for me, another round that I can just go crazy without uh, using any of my own units. I have a lot of different units there. I'm going to like explain a little more about them as, uh, as I need to use them actually, which uh, probably isn't going to be right now uh, because the guild raid here is a time thing. And if I don't get the end reward uh, within the next two hours, then I'm just going to have pretty much wasted all of my uh, my time here. So that's uh, that's a no go. I mean, I still get the rewards that you see after each uh, of these missions. I still get those. I get to keep them. But what I really really want is the fifty coins and the two rare packs because. Uh, I don't need rare mutations, rare cards. I like disenchant. <laughs> I I consume them. That's what it's called in this game. Uh, like tens and twins of them every single game. Um, but each time you open a pack, there's a chance to get a legendary, and the legendary and epic uh, range is really where I am. Uh, where I'm at. So now I run. I ran out of good units to borrow from the guildmates, and that's because there's uh, nobody's online besides me right now. So when I click here to select the units I can borrow, I just have this from Infected Ally. That really means it's from no one. It's uh, it's an achievement or like a perk our guild has because we reached uh, I don't know if it was like uh, level ten or something then you get at least something even as nobody is around you get some low level tank that you can uh, that you can use so i managed to get like uh, three or four games and that was super cool and i will probably have been borrowing these units from the same people that you could see in in the raid list we have five 10 at most active players in this guild that are daily active. Some come around once every week or just on the weekend. Uh, unfortunately, our <laughs> guild leader is, uh, is a no-show right now, super friendly player, but uh, another player I have been seeing active for almost two weeks, so that's a bit of a shame. Would have been nice if he or she would have given somebody else the leadership while away, but anyway, enough about that. Let's just complete this and go check out where we are stat-wise. Zoom a little in here. So what I'm pouring over them here, this blue stuff is like uh, superpowers. It's called Stim Z or Stim Z, depending on how you want to pronounce the letter there. So now it's all red, and that was because it's uh, completely fatigued now. I can't use it anymore. It's going to take 45 minutes for it uh, to recharge once. So if we go into the team area here actually see this is the these are the units I had selected to join in, in in battle and this one here is completely red 32 minutes left before it has recharged the first of its uh, areas so the first ones here are my actual team this is this is the thing I want to uh, to evolve that's what I'm saving up my DNA for um, I got some pretty cool units today I actually managed to get myself uh, the newest legendary in the game, which is a rancher. Super cool thing that kind of grows these zombie drones from the ground. I'm very excited about it, but I need two of them. The thing with this game is when you have an item or a mutation, you can level it, uh, evolve it from level 1 to 9 pretty easy. Once you reach 9, 
the next thing you get is the bonuses that you may see I'm touching here on the screen. These are perks, special powers that they get. You need to consume another unit of the same type in order to gain this bonus. So I need another legendary rancher that this one is going to eat, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, they're going to, one of them is going to disappear before I can evolve it to level 10. Level 20 is a freebie. Level 30, again, you need to evolve by consuming, but this time you don't need to evolve a level, uh, consume a level 1, you need to consume a level 10. So you need to consume a unit that already consumed another unit. So you can see how that makes it really, really hard to level up these uh, legendary and epic items that are super, not items, mutations that are super hard to come by as if, as is. So, um, yeah, it's... Um, I like it, but uh, it it takes a little work to get there. As you can see in, in the blue stuff here, I have a lot of rares. I <laughs> I consume them all the time for for DNA. You can see now I have selected one of the rewards I got from one of these games, a Colossus. It's uncommon. It's a tank style thing with a lot of health. I can consume it, and then I will get 155 of those DNA points, and that's what I want a hundred thousand of. So I. Uh, pretty much just consume all of these uh, useless ones, keep the rares for now, and then I'll probably consume some of those later. But anyway, that was uh, another small look into uh, World Combination here, just testing uh, the recording options here, so thank you very much for watching.